Hi, welcome to Reality Check. One of my colleagues in a previous episode of the show commented on U.S. Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi's visit to China's Taiwan region as the world entering a time where the law of jungle reigns and rules wane. True, true. By rolling out the red carpet for Pelosi, Tsai Ing-wen stopped even acting like there's only one China. But truth be told, she's been doing that for quite some time now. We are an independent country as already, and uh, we call ourselves Republic of China, Taiwan. And uh, we have our own system of running uh, the country, and we do have government, and we have the military, and, and we have elections. Ever since coming to power, she has been going after Taiwan independence. But alone, she's weak. So she looks to the big daddy, the United States, for help to achieve that. Since 2016, she had spent close to $20 billion on buying U.S. weapons in more than two dozen deals. Politically, she cozied up to people like former U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo and positioned Taiwan as part of U.S. President Joe Biden's Alliance of Democracies. Economically, a so-called U.S.-Taiwan initiative on 21st century trade was launched. Then comes Nancy Pelosi. We've said Pelosi's Taiwan trip is about her legacy building. It's no different for Tsai. In three months, Taiwan will hold its local elections, the bellwether for the leadership election in two years. Tsai can't run for another term. These are her last chances to make her mark for her party. And things aren't looking good for her. Recent poll shows that 44.8% disapproved her handling of the economy. Among the six major pillars of her governance agenda, the economy was the second most disapproved. Number one on the disapproval list is vaccine development, with a 48.5% disapproval rating. She did the worst in the two most important and kitchen table issues for the Taiwan residents. Interestingly, her handling of the so-called international relations and security matters were the most liked, where 56.7% and 51.1% approved it respectively. The Washington Post has done an interesting research for Pelosi's visit. They show that a visit from a strong country's leaders is likely to push the smaller partner's public to be more supportive of the great power's preferred security policy. It suggests that the visit significantly reassures the people of Taiwan, enhancing public support on the island for military and defense spending, as well as U.S. strategic policy goals. But it's a nightmare for others who live outside of politics. The absolute inviolable law in the Taiwan Strait is that there is one China, and Taiwan is part of China. Tsai Ing-wen has managed to chip this away over her tenure. Chinese people on both sides of the straits are paying a heavy price for it. And that is her legacy.